Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Queen's Wish, and we are at uh, Deepwood Keep. Um, some of the guards are still waiting outside, watching for Ariel and clearing the camp of pests. The real action is, of course, happening inside the fort. Um, so we have still need to do... I still want to get down in this area, but I think we better do Sylvan first. That is one of our quests. And I realize I'm not going back and talking to generals when I'm getting things taken care of. Um to advance. I need to go back and talk to Harlan about studying the Calamity. I need to talk to him about reclaiming the bowl. And um, once I get into the Syl Sylvan, then I have to go back to Toro. So I do have things that will uh, level me up as soon as I get into them. But I need to go to Sylvan first. And I found out how to um, get the text box to pop up. You just hit C. And it pops it up. Okay. Um, it was always... What am I doing? It was always um, T before. Okay, so I can just go straight down. But I want to fill this. Oop, we got some slime balls. They're little slimies. Here we go. Okay. Um, oop. Okay, so she's the first one up. She's <coughs> do you. Come on. And I kind of redid all my um, things down here in my quick slot. So I have all my healing stuff on this side. Um, inspiring Cry over here. Battle Frenzy. We'll go ahead and do that right off the bat. And can you get up to him? I don't think you can, but you can go two paces. And shoot. Okay, nice. And then you can just go ahead and do that. And you're already on your bow, but we don't want you on your bow. We're going to go up here. Attack. Oh, and you missed. Oh, they evaded, actually, is what they do. Um, Slime so gets attack status. Um... I attack slime, but I don't do any good to it. All right. Can we get it now? It must be my damn weapon. I don't know. Let's get that one. Okay. You're done. Good. Little slime ball, you are done. Come on. Oh, I must be slowed. How come it's not, can't get there? Why can't I get there? Am I, in, oh, I'm ensnared, okay. Well, I'll take care of that, I'll just shoot you. That'll take care of it, okay. All right. Go along the water here. You approach Sliven. Sliven, a proper city in the aerial woods. It is a beautiful place. The aerial are masters of wood work and the buildings are elegant and airy, made from long curved logs, banished, varnished to a rich dark hue. Yet not all is well. Some roads are overgrown. Some of the older buildings are slumped over a little. Roots have gaps. Roofs have gaps where the tiles have blown away. It is a beautiful place, but the area are not taking the time to maintain it. Odd. That means it's being infested by something. Of course, always. Okay. Who are you down here? Can I even talk to you? No, well, let's talk to you. Well, those, you know, the proportions in this are so odd. Those are vegetables. Look at how big they are compared to the people. Mm. Yeah, doesn't make any sense. Okay, so she'll be going to Sylvan. See what's going on here. Now entering Sylvan. 
Well, there are people here. They're Sylvan Guard. Will they talk? No blessed on this hall. Okay. You enter the aerial city of Sylvan. You are struck by how the city is split into two halves, separated by a canal. The south half is crowded, muddy, and poor. The north half is spacious and lovely, a garden with a handful of beautiful wooden halls. The people in the south half of town look like, well, people, not the, whims not the whimsical inhabitants of an enchanted forest, but simple farmers, merchants, and so on. When you get close to them, they find a reason to be somewhere else. They know who you are. They know who you are somehow, and they keep their distance. Well, it's probably that insignia on my chest, you know. They neglect us. This is the trench town. One of the townsfolk bumps into you. He apologizes and passes by. Then you feel something in your hand. The man pressed something into your palm. You look at it. It's a notice. It says simply, you should talk to Istara. Istara. And who is Istara? Istara. So was that you that just bumped into me? Seven guard. The sign says Istra. Okay, so she's right here. Beautiful. Beautiful. And what does this place say? Um, blind cloth. And that sign says mining office. Okay. That looks like it's probably a tower. As you pass the guards, one of them clears her throat. You are the envoy, yes? The south half of town is the trench town. Just poor folk, just poor folk there. The blessed, the important people are north. She smiles. Hope that helps. Um, well, I'm... You stumble onto an interesting scene. You pause to watch. Several aerial, none of them with green skin, wait anxiously on the south side of the stream. Many of them hold papers. They look like they're here to present petitions. A guard crosses the bridge. He shouts, Sorry, glorious, blessed. You are... Sorry, glorious, blessed. You are... The dancer is busy today. She doesn't take time. Come back tomorrow. She doesn't have time. Come back tomorrow. The crowd slumps off, looking defeated. Okay, so... What do they have to say? We do what we're told. We do what we're told. This is the trench town. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I knew this was a... Um, nothing up here but people, guards. Yep, just me. Okay. So maybe I should go talk to her first. There's something definitely going on here, right? Okay, let's go talk to her. I assume it's a woman. Istra. But it could be a guy. I can help you. Really? Can you? Can you not? Oh, I have a bed to sleep in? Hmm. Interesting. This humble home has only one occupant, a middle-aged woman with pale green, green hair. She is an excellent drinker, the only one you have seen in this half of town. Your invasion of her home doesn't trouble her. She has been expecting you. She spreads her hands wide and smiles. I am Istra. Welcome, Princess Corinne. I honor you. Visit, I honor your visit to our humble trench town. If I might have a moment of your time. So you were expecting me, were you? Hmm... Okay. Istra motions for you to sit with her at the table. She pours some tea for you. Please rest, Princess of Haven. I don't have anything worthy of your status, I'm afraid, except information. This trench town has given me its trust. You still can't... You still aren't sure why she is here. She is the only person with the green skin and the blessed who you have seen in the trench town side. So you knew I was coming. Of course, our leaders were too confused to send a proper greeting, I am sure. We small people saw your arrival and passed the news around quickly. They, ne they neglect us, so we have to look out for ourselves. As she talks, she shoots a constant nervous looks at the door, as if she is afraid guards may come in at any moment. 
Or maybe she's, uh, this is an ambush, hmm? You are nervous. Yes, the blessed are confused, but they do want to hold on to power. I can't talk to you too openly. They might tend to me, make me disappear, even if I am blessed. Really? So tell me about this neglect. The blessed always had contempt for the town folk. They are rich and we are poor, reason enough by their thinking. Then there is the exler. It confuses more and more every year, it seems. So you leave this trench town? I am not an official, even though I am blessed. I am only a person the people here trust. I have spent my life here in Sliven. They know me. They know my heart. They know that they are treated poorly, and they know that I want to change things. So why is your skin green? Because you've been drinking Exler. The Exler, it is expensive, bitter stuff. Every coin I have, either ever earned, goes to buy it. Other small folk... Donate coins to help me buy it. I drink it to be blessed. Blessed. It is the only way the other blessed will take me seriously and listen to my complaints. Well, it kind of makes sense, but you're endangering yourself too. What do you want from me? We know of Haven, your reputation. We know why you are here. The area where your vassals once. You want us to be so again. Let us be frank. We do not love Haven, not like the greedy ball masters do. However, things in the aerial woods have grown intolerable of late. If you can prove that you are preferable to our current masters, we might be of use to each other. We should talk. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> I'd like to know about you. Of course, I offered to work with you out of nowhere. I tend, I need you, I need to win your trust. But then you have to win ours too. I have sacrificed much and I will sacrifice more. It takes bravery to talk to you. We of the trench towns have suffered greatly since Haven left. Everyone has suffered greatly since we left. Yeah. Why do you have to be brave to talk to me? The councils who rule us are not so confused that they are utterly foolish. They will not tolerate the trench towns trying to deal with Haven. We must be very careful. Still, I am willing to take the risk. And how have the trench towns suffered? The high council sees ordinary Ariel as sheep to be shorn. Sheep! Sheep! She hammers the table with her fist. They claim leadership and power over us, and they do nothing to earn it. They neglect us, lost in exler dreams. And what sacrifices have you made? She holds out a trembling hand, displaying its pale green shade. The Exler, I spent much to get it, mostly my money, some given by my fellows. I drank it and let it change me to become blessed. Why do you need to drink the Exler? Our councils are formed by the blessed. The blessed claim all the power. I let the Exler change me so that they might listen to our pleas. She suddenly grows furious. She slaps the side of her head hard. Foolish! Foolish me! <laughs> okay. Um, how the other blessed treated you? The Council of Sliven has three members. Yara, the dancer, cares enough to be in the city. The others stay in their mansions, dealing with their own mad business. Yara will let me into her hall. She has to. She listens to the problems of the Ariel. Then she ignores him or mocks him. And how has this Exler affected you? I will live longer, I think. I have mad dreams. Some days, it is hard to control my thoughts. When I feel madness coming, I can control it. But the effort makes my body shake. Telling you this shames me. Sometimes I am not proud of the Ariel. So sorry. Istra pours you more tea. Occasionally, her hands shake and her face twitches. Other times, she goes oddly. Perhaps the effects of the Exler. I'm sure it is. Um... I'd like you to tell me about the Ariel. Good. The last time Haven came to our forest, it was your queen, Sharon, who visited. She only talked to the blessed, the leaders. Your kind was never interested in how we normal Ariel struggle. And what is your struggle? The blessed, the Exler drinkers, rule over us. Only they can sit on our councils. Only they choose who are on the councils. We of the trench towns are left in neglect. So what are they doing wrong? She is silent for a while, as if she forgets you are there. Then she sna snaps back to attention. What? Oh, they just don't care about us. Part of that is the arrogance of the rich. Part of that is that Exler warps the mind. The result is that our proud nation slowly rots away, and they don't care. What do the trench towns think of the blessed? 
We used to admire them, then dislike them. Now we are angry, yet they have the wealth and the power and the warriors and the mages. If we challenge them, they hurt us. It is great. It is a great risk talking to you like this, princess. I need to take the risk. What should be done about it? I am not sure yet. I don't want to ruin our forest. I only want justice. I want things to be properly run. Your eyes are not cruel. Perhaps we can develop a solution together. Perhaps... Perhaps? Whatever. Um... Why did you want so much to talk to me? She thinks carefully about how to proceed. She is confused for a moment. Then she comes to a conclusion. Actually, I should not describe things to you. I should let you see for yourself. There is a council member in town, Yara the Dancer. I know she will want to meet you. You should go and see her. I think it will be instructive. Hmm. That's all I need. She nods. Thank you for honoring me with your presence, Princess of Haven. So was that really all there was? Um... Okay, so do I have a quest to talk to somebody? Um, no, I don't. Okay. She'll, so she let herself get... Um, Alright, and who are all you people? Um, they're just town's people. Several so Ariel working in the rooms, the looms here. The Ariel make a lot of cloth. Not good enough to get Haven, Haven's attention, but adequate. The presence of royalty makes them very nervous. They don't want to talk to you. Of course they don't. They never do, do they? Do we have any stairs to go up or down? Okay, nope. And this was... Oh, there is a named person. And a dog! Hi, Sky! Kielman's Ky 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 companion in his office is a big, healthy dog. The tag around his neck reads, Sky. He barks and rubs up against your legs, e eager for pats. He's a good boy. Hi, Sky. Okay. As you can tell, I like dogs. I like animals as whatever. Oh, I want to need the quicksilver. Okay, so who are you? Um... Kaimil. This is a workshop and office full of scales, stone samples, and tools. The area will do a lot of mining, mainly for quicksilver, the heart of their profit part the heart of their potion craft. An aging pale man approaches to shake your hand. You are the Haven Envoy, yes? I am Kaimil, Master of Mines for Sliven. Please let me assist you. Though he has no doubt Worked with Quicksilver, his skin is clearly entirely free of green tint. You're in charge of the mines of the forest? In a way, I handle claims, examine, or I advise the younger miners and tell the older ones how to tend to their aching joints. It is brutal work digging out of the precious cinnabar, even more so with all our recent troubles. Yet we are the ones who make the foul exiler that makes the area who we are. And what exactly is cinnabar? A crumbling reddish rock doesn't look like much at first. Heated, though, and the precious quicksilver oozes out. Under our woods, the earth is rich in it, more than anywhere else in all the known lands. And how do you make the aerial... the aerial? Quicksilver is the heart of potions. A tiny bit makes a healing potion heal, and more, and you get Exler, the Bruin poison for the blessed who lead us. You have many troubles? He takes you to a desk. A map of the aerial woods is unfold, unrolled on, a sur on its surface, and many areas are marked with red circles. Since Haven left, since Haven left, and our council took over again, the blessed have neglected us. Problems appear, and nobody solves them. I can't do it. I'm an old man. So tell me about the blessed. They are the ones who rule us, but don't help us. I can't say more than that. There are risks. I imagine there are. Um. Kaimil eagerly shows you around his office. He shows you tools, explains mining techniques, tells you tales of the aerial woods and adventures looking for adventurers looking for claims. He seems to take real joy in it. Sometimes he bends down to scratch his dog or feed him a treat. Uh, you don't approve of Axler? He shakes his head. Axler is nobody is sure what all it does. It's a solution of many herbs with quicksilver, lots of quicksilver, and our leaders drink it. The blessed don't listen to our, to mere miners, so they don't learn what we learn. And what do you learn? Miners who work with cinnabar go mad eventually. Those who cook it 
to extract the quicksilver go mad faster. There is no mistaking the effect, nor the source. Poor Esther is our leader. She drinks this stuff knowing what we do. She cares about our trench town enough to take it in that poison so we can have a voice. So what happens to the miners eventually? The mad ones? The younger miners look after them, give them simple work, keep them fed, and when they go old and when they get old they are looked after in turn. We look after our own. Do the blessed know that the exer might drive them mad? He laughs. It is amusing. Once they deny Quicksilver had any effect, then then the truth could not no longer be denied. Now they say the madness of the Exler is not madness, but wisdom. They think it only makes them more worthy to lead us. Yeah, because they have to have a reason for why they do things. Yep, yeah, that is a hard thing. Thank you, Princess. Most of your rank don't bother with us. When Queen Sharon came here when I was young, she never talked to a miner. Anything else you would know? Perhaps I can help you with some of your problems. I was told that you were coming here and that I should try to enlist your help. We trench town folk need allies and we can pay for your help. For example, you can reclaim the lost mines of Bramble, Bramble Spire. They are to the north, next to the Bramble Barrier. There is an infestation of spiders. The council won't give us help, but you could. So that's what's down there to the north. No, to the north? I was thinking in the south. Um, to the north. So that's up, and what I'm thinking about is what's down there in the south. Hmm. Who told you that I might offer help? I would rather not say. I don't want to cause trouble. And what is Brambershire? It is an old cinnabar mine, one of the finest ones in its declining years, still productive when we controlled it. Alas, it is by the bramble wall, and the stray magic oozing from the place can cause problems. For example, in this case, an invasion of giant spiders. Just what I like, giant spiders. And what is my reward for your help? The pits of bramble spire are almost played out, but a generous share of the quicksilver we get from there can go to Haven Ports. That sounds good. Um, I think that's it then. So that's a quest. Mine, miners of the Ariel. Okay. And what do you have upstairs? Hi, doggy. Another one. Can I steal it here because nobody's here? Oh, we don't really need it. Um, if it had been something fantastic, I probably would have taken it, but nope. Nope. Okay, so we got that one. What's this place up here? I'm mean, all the way, all the way. Um, these are just townspeople. Royalty or not, the aerial don't appreciate people breaking in their homes. You are invited to depart. <laughs> well, how did I know? Yeah, I know. There's not. A, there's no signs on the doors. Um, I suppose it's the same thing here. Mm-hmm. Yep. What if I don't? What if I don't? Will you attack me? No, I don't think you will. But there's a, there was an empty room. I mean, right? Oh, you got a... So what's down here? Spiders. Nasty spiders. Okay. Um... So these are giant recluse spiders. Crick. Crick. Uh, let's go again. Actually, let's go over here and do um, icy wave on them. Okay. You can come over here. Do that. Took care of that one. Um, Ooh, well, you just went ahead and got rid of it. Um, yeah, I didn't think I could get close enough to you. Crick, crick. Uh, just go ahead and get you out of the way. I suppose I won't even get a, um, I suppose I won't even get a thank you. Nope. So how about that other house? Still, there's an empty... Hmm. 
That person is gone now. What would happen here if I... Do they have something that... No, see, there was a, there was a... It doesn't make any sense. Hmm, whatever. Yeah, I don't want to see the bad news. I'm down to one. 30, making money there. That's breaking even. Um, oh, I'm losing money on my iron too. I noticed that before. How am I losing money on my iron? Okay. The guards nod respectfully when you cross the bridge into the north half of town. It's even more beautiful up close. Fragrant gardens and cup copses of beautifully trimmed trees. There are only a few people up here. They all have greenish skin, white hair, and a dis distracted air. These must be the famed blessed, the excellent drinkers of the aerial. They don't talk to you. They only rarely seem aware that you are here. But I thought she said before that there was very few of them up here. There's a dire wolf. So why is there a dire wolf here? Hmm. Haven should help us. Really, should we? Because you're not helping your people. It's raining again, too. And it's dust thundered. Let's see what's in here. <clears throat> Oh, Pula. Hello, Pula. Who are you? The odor of this shop makes your nose burn and your eyes water. It mostly sells the strange Akamino co concoctions of the aerial. The bubbling brews are tended by an aerial woman who is completely unaffected by the acid air. She blinks to the haze of you. Oh, that have a night. I expected you. I am Pola, and this is my workshop. Sh state your business. Hmm... Tell me about your shop. She sighs. Don't you know more about us? Potions and brews are the great art of the aerial. That is why Haven keeps pestering us, isn't it? You like to buy our potions. I also make Exler. So tell me about the Exler. It is a symbol of us blessed. Exler gives us lovely skin, long life, and a beautiful dreams. The Quicksilver preserves us, and it gives us the wisdom necessary to rule the aerial woods. Really, you're a very much in denial, girl. Do you sell potions? Pah, she spits. Almost never. I deal with refined brews, exler, and components for magical research. I don't make brews for brutish soldiers. Wow, you are a little stuck up. Um, Pol Pola continues to tender a bubbling brews and concoctions. The smell and smoke only affect you more the longer you stay in here. When she works, she keeps her back to you long enough to make it clear she that she's being rude. I already got that anyway. <laughs> I would like to trade with you. No, I would not sell my special in refined regions to outsiders, especially those who would make us vassals. Then she reconsiders. But I have had problems getting necessary supplies for my work. I will not sell, but I am willing to buy. Mm. So... I don't have anything to sell. So, so she said she had something, did that now come up here? No. Hmm. Uh, one moment. Okay, so didn't she say she needed help with something? Can I buy Axler? Um... Potions, tell me about Exler. Huh. I guess not. I don't know. That's odd because I could have swore she was more or less trying to give us a quest. Who knows? And who are we? Another sli slipping guard. These are the gardens, just so I can tell. This must be the. Okay. Anything up here other than wood? No 
Okay, Southern Guard, North, we already know North. What do you have in here? Copper bits. Oh, I didn't see this one. We got Hartley down here. There is one person who is actually working in the garden half of the in the garden half of the city, this soldier sits at a proper wooden desk surrounded by piles of supplies and unanswered letters. When you enter, he rises and bows. I am Hartley, head of the watch in Sylvan. He points at a pile of scrolls on his desk. You are from Haven. You will solve problems for us, right? Well, you're unusually direct. That is what Haven does, oh yes? Come into other lands, make us reliant on you, then take what you want? Well, I am overwhelmed and the council isn't helping. Our system is struggling. I will take all the help you can offer me. So tell me about your aerial system. Oh, gladly, I am blessed. I know it well. Each city has a council, a triad of blessed chosen to lead us. Sometimes decisions need to be made to for all of the aerial. Then the councils go to form the high council, a high El Hobo? Hmm. That is it in a nutshell. And are the councils selected? When a counselor set, steps down or dies or becomes too lost in dreams, all the blessed in a city come together and argue until there is a consensus about which of them becomes the new counselor. Then they serve them and then they serve until they can't. So where is S Sylvan's council? One of them is always in the Great Hall. The other two spend time on their estates, doing all the things they, doing the things they do. None of them pays attention to what is happening, of course. They just move around while they don't pay attention. Surely there are disagreements about who becomes a counselor. Of course, sometimes consensus can be difficult to reach. That is what assassinations are for. Really? And how, is the council, how do the councils make decisions? Each council has three members. They have problems presented to them. They decide how to respond. They vote if there is a disagreement. Then they issue their ruling and people like me do the work. It worked for a long time. And how does the system work in practice now? Haven meddled in our affairs for years. Then when you left, we had a oh, haven meddled in our fear, affairs for years. Then when you left, we had fallen out of practice with using power. Our leaders had also drank a lot of, drunk a lot of Exler. Now the council have become detached. They don't give me enough gu 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 guidance. He points at the pile of scrolls on his desk. They neglect us. Aren't you scared of criticizing them? I am... I am blessed. I am protected in a way that the people in the trench towns aren't. Well, this sounds very difficult. You know, Haven is very good at coming in from outside and clearing, clearing up unruly political systems. Yeah. We know. We have experienced it. You take over. You make us dependent on you. Then you free... Then you... Flee when things get a little difficult and don't think at all about how we suffer. Make no mistake, have a night. I have no interest in being your vassal. I will pay for the help you give. Hmm. And how are things around Sylvan now? We are beset by problems, big and small. Merlins, beasts, disputes among our people. The councils won't hear. I am blessed, so I can't so I can say it. And how are the trench towns reacting to our return? Their presence is giving them hope. The councils neglect them. They want change. They don't understand how much the blessed care about them. Some of them are foolish enough to want to be vassals again. I hope they will not succumb to that madness. Sure. Harley sits with you at his desk. There is a pile of scrolls behind you. A mountain of unfinished jobs and problems that need solving. He constantly, nervously rearranges the pile as if this helps. And why should I help you? I will pay you. The council doesn't give me guidance, but I do have a budget. You need supplies for your miserable little colony in the center of Sacramentum, right? I can help you with that. So what would you have me do? There is a problem I don't have the resources to solve. It is in Sandalwood, so it's right... It's in Sandalwood, so it's right that you deal with it. It's an abandoned village. Beasts have settled there, strange creatures that could, that called the mine of those nearby. I don't know where these beasts came from, but I want them gone. They have been waylaying and devouring travelers on our roads. Well, I think I've already taken care of them. And what was Sandalwood? It was a trading village on the road between us and you. They profited 
From the potions we sold to Haven, when you left, the village was mostly abandoned. Then monsters took it over. And what are those creatures? Our scouts have seen big weird beasts, half plant, half animal, scuttling about. When they were in view, even from a distance, the scouts felt faint and confused. Not the sort of thing you, you want lurking around the children, yes? And how are these beasts created? Hartley shrugs. We have had centuries of blessed, many of them were mages. Centuries of magical experiments carried out by those lost to excellent dreams. It's a wonder we don't have more such creatures about. Okay, so that was a quest. Um, the Mind Warper, so I can let him know. That one's already done. I love quests that can be done right away. I have cleaned the monsters out of sandalwood. You tell the tale. He nods. Yes, I can see why Haven has so many vassals. You can solve our problems efficiently. Very addictive. Still, we will pay our way. Gold and Quicksilver will be sent to Port Haven. Alas, that was not the only such, such infestation we have to deal with. There are more infested settlements? Not a settlement. Last year, we lost the Garden of... Oh, my God. Pooch? Pooch? Poochrita? To these creatures. I asked Yara and... Mablo to help reclaim it. They didn't. They were distracted. Again, the creatures are addling the minds of all nearby. If you can reclaim the garden, I will pay you. So what is this garden? A wonder of our lands, the most beautiful of our forest, lovely and fragrant at any time of year. Once we could journey there for weddings and ceremonies and other joyful events. Then it was lost to neglect. And where is the garden? It is northwest of here, at the tip of a peninsula, south of the Thorn Barrier. Northwest. Well, that would be this this way, northwest. Hmm. There are signs on the road. Also, when you get close to it, you may go mad. Wow, you are really lost control of your force. Yes, we have. I am ashamed. Sometimes I feel I am the only blessed who, still, who, is, cap who is still capable of shame. Okay, so now we have another one. So I gained Quicksilver and Gold. Uh, the Mind Warpers. Okay. So we have another quest. Cool. All right. What's up here? The end. We need to go over to the City Hall. Anything here that I could have clicked on I missed. And it's raining. We're getting all wet. Hmm. Okay, so we've got Yura the Dancer over here. This is a gigantic, glorious meeting hall. It is centuries old. A place where the aerial can come together to debate, meet, or feast, and it has been almost entirely abandoned. It is dim and dusty. Cobwebs are everywhere. There has not been a proper gathering here for a long time. There is only one person here, a woman in flowing ceremonial clothes, sitting behind the high table to the north. And why would she let herself just be there? Haven is not welcome. No, I kind of figured that. Haven is never welcome. Because we're going to put things right for you, girl. Mm-hmm. Neglecting your people. It's not an excuse. Neglecting your people because you want to stay full of dreams. A young, tall Ariel sits at the tall, long table. She has pins and papers in front of her. Sometimes she even looks at them. When you get close, she rises and gives an elegant bow. Then she sits again. She looks at you disdainfully. I am Yara, the dancer of the Council of Sliven. I am stuck here, bothering with city business. I assume you were led into the garden of Sylvan for a reason? Who are you? Hmm, I am Prince Princess Heron. I am Princess Heron. I am Princess Corinna Haven. Hmm, yes, I heard rumors your lot had returned. Come back to Sacramento for some reason. You have some diplomatic business with me? Uh, well, yeah, yes, I do. Well, I am but one part of the council of one city in our woods. What do you want? I am very busy. I'm sure you are getting drunk. Hmm, the Ariel had me treated with... Haven, you have not given us what you owe. I have lost. I got lost in your forest. <laughs> no, I just wanted to visit. No, sometimes we like to visit our vassals. No, there you has have a treaty with Haven. She rolls her eyes. Blah blah. You had treaties with us. Then the calamity happened, and you fled our continent like cowards. Now you expect to enter our 
Holes in bluster and win our respect? Nonsense. She waves you away. I have work to do. Go away. Return when you can talk sense. Really? Why, well, you little bitch. <laughs> Yara, the dancer, watches you with obvious disinterest. In the dim light, you can see the deep green shade of her skin. She has been drinking Exler for a long time. For being so young? Hmm. I'd like to learn more about the Ariel. There is nothing to learn. We mind our own business. We don't want Haven here. Leave me be. Leave me to my work. She waves you away. Okay. So, yeah, you're just going to speak and go. Speak and go. So you're just dumb. You're just really, really, really dumb. Okay. Um... How to find my way out of here now? Here we go down here. So there was nothing said about this place down here, which I still want to go down to. So now we have, um, some, we already had that one. Well, these are the ones, Bramble. See, these are getting further up, and I don't want to go up there. Well, this is for other. Um, but I need the Quicksilver more than I need, of course, I need the iron, too. And the iron comes from Ukat. Mm, we're getting a lot of stone, but the iron comes from Ukat, and we're losing out on that, too. Oh, my God. It's like, how do we keep up with the demand? Um, I want to go down here. I want to go down the south on this peninsula and find out what's going on down there. So let's just wander on down there, because, you know, we got to wander. Uh, might find some things along the way. Better save before we go any further. Did we go up in here? Oh, just a little, little house. Come on. Looks like there might be something up in here. Oh, this clearing is scattered with bones and trash. Someone or something camped here and left a disgusting mess behind. You can't tell what the bones came from, but, they, but they've been heavily gnawed. Remembering what you learned in Deepwood Keep, you look for tracks. They lead to the deeply undergrowth, to the nearby undergrowth. When you get close to the bushes, something emerges. Oh, these are mirror fangs. The mirrorlings. Yes. Okay, that's right. This is one of our quests is to get rid of them. Okay. So we're going to do Battle Frenzy. Yeah, here we go. You guys have to come around to us, too. Oh, I didn't realize you were hurt still. Um, all right, get you on your bow. You guys have come to us. And let's go ahead and get her healed while we're here. There we go. And you came around the other way. Let's just get you out. Okay, you're done. And let's get you. And how come I didn't go? How come I ran out of room? All right, let's go here. Stun you so you don't move. You're stunned and slowed. Okay. Mm. Let's get rid of that one. That one's done. Um. Hmm. Yep, that doesn't work. I'm not far enough. Oop, that's the wrong one. Um. Tear shock. Can I shock someone? Didn't seem to do any damage. You took 45 points of magical damage. Okay. Um. Why aren't you doing any good either? No, I think I want to keep you up there. Alright, that one's done. Okay. Okay. We're done. Yeah, I know you're shooting at us. Put you on yours. Let's 
So you're going to come this way now. Okay, and I can only go so far, really. Let's get you over here. <coughs> you're flanking us, trying to. Come on. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. All right, you better heal her. Again. She doesn't have a shield. Okay. Burr. Why do I keep missing? You're in attacks. Hmm. All right. The Merlins are gone. The roads will be a tiny bit safer. There may be more other camps out here, though. Yes, yes, we know there will be. Okay. Um. I saw someone wandering down here. Who are you? Come on. You see a group of young aerial warriors. They are blessed from wealthy families. They have light leather armor and blades of glowing light, enabling them to move fast and attack with vicious effectiveness. Normally, they could effortlessly find their way through these dark woods. This group seems lost. They watch you from the far end of a dark path, and they don't seem hostile. Okay, I'll talk to them. They greet you with the haughty arrogance of the aerial. Then they realize that, they, that you are a Havanite. They left their families to sign on with Haven's army. This is very common in vassal states. Haven pays very well and provides excellent training. Even the aerial hunt admit that Haven has much to offer. Give them directions to a Haven fort. Fortunately, you have rebuilt one of Haven's fortresses in the aerial woods. You give the warriors directions. They march off in the correct direction. Your battalions are strong, but Haven's is never able to control a vassal state without recruiting warriors that already live there. That is so very true. Okay. Um. Oh, it's gotten a little long here. I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode, and when we come back, we're going to try to find a way to get down to... Um, well, I'm getting there. i got to go down this way and up. Because there's that river that comes through here. I want to come down here and see what the hell is in that den. If you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.